ladies and gentlemen. This is an update. I reduced the KOH level, diluted my solution with some distilled water to bring my amps down. And oh, it's really producing a lot of heat. So now I'm down to 17.5, 17.6. As long as I keep it under 20 amps, I'll be all right. You know? But the heat, my God, it's like 150, 160 degrees. I can feel it. But it's doing a really good job. It's on medium speed. All three of them are really burning in there. You know? And this thing is cranking over there. Anyway, today I'm planning on putting this whole contraption, redesign it, in a... <laughs> I thought about it last night. I have a drawer chest for the office for filing. I'm going to take those two drawers out and put the cabinet sideways and mount this whole contraption take all this out, mount it properly, and electronic ignition I'm working on right now, this whole manifold is going to be redesigned with, uh, it's going to be really neat, you know, with three tips, it'll be hollow, round tube, and we'll have a spark arrester right here, and then it's going to have some three electrodes that I'm planning on putting on each tip and use the tip as ground and give high tension voltage to light the tips. So that's going to be my next project. It's going to be very interesting putting everything in the box, making it all automatic, thermostatic control. And right now my room is getting pretty warm. <laughs> it's been only five minutes, you know. I feel very comfortable in here now. Anyway, I thought I'd share this with you today. So this is going to be all changed. Maybe a 90 degree. Right now I straighten it. And I'm checking the distance. Uh, that does make a difference how close and how far I am from the blower, but we'll see. <laughs> this is the last you're going to be seeing this unit outside. Next is going to be in a really nice cabinet and with some wheels and handle on the top so you can roll it around anywhere and I think it's gonna do at least 2,000 square feet you know the way I calculated last night and just leave it on high and medium that would be perfect you know it's really putting out some heat today wow I wish I had my here. But anyway, so the amps are gone up to, let's see, 18.4, <laughs> that's not bad, 18.2, it just keeps fluctuating. And let's see after an hour what it does. But right now my cell is running <laughs> really 
cool to touch because it's about 55 degrees in this room, 50 degrees I would say. <coughs> so I'm just playing around checking all the things and I thought about it last night so I figured I should lower the amps down so it's running about 18.3, 18.2 and it's been over, huh, for me, 10 minutes. So that's not bad. Started out with 17 point something. And it's 18 only an amp. So it's just stabilizing. But the heat, whoa. It's a pleasure standing right here. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm having a lot of fun with this project. So anyway guys, this is going to be a redesigned heat exchanger, all these tubes are going to go and a spark arrestor like I said right there, that's the safety, because when you go to turn it off, sometimes it does go all the way to my torch. So I'm going to install something, I have some brass wool inside, and apparently it's not doing the job. Alrighty. Electronic ignition. Any ideas guys? But I'm thinking how I'm gonna do it. So we'll see. Next it's gonna be in a nice portable cabinet. Alrighty, have a good day.